Welcome back to the channel, I'm BraveX Hero, and today we're talking about Strand Meditations. With the launch of the new subclass, Strand, players are now required to unlock their abilities such as their grenades and fragments and aspects. The downfall of it, unlike our other subclasses which only require Glimmer, these fragments, aspects, and grenades require Strand Meditations. In today's video, I'm going to show you one of the fastest methods I use to gain a lot of Strand Meditations, which allowed me to unlock all my fragments and aspects. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because I have a lot of strand builds coming to the channel. Yes, guys, there's going to be a build video tomorrow. So if you're new to the channel and you enjoy the content, click that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on all notifications. But look, I need you to have as many fragments, grenades and aspects unlocked so you can utilize all these fun builds. Now, there's three different methods for acquiring strand meditations. Number one, if you're utilizing the strand subclass, you can easily have one or two meditations drop when you're killing enemies such as this in the Grasp of Avarice dungeon. I'm just farming away, upgrading some weapons. As you can tell, one will drop, two will drop, but not that many. This will take forever to unlock all your fragments, grenades, and aspects. Now, the second method is gonna be jumping into the campaign and replaying a mission, but in the hard mode. As you can tell, by completing this mission right here, you will gain plus 250 strand meditations. The biggest downfall, number one, it's hard, guys, and you may take you almost an hour to two hours completed, depending how good you are at this game. And number two, guys, you might actually have to have a fire team with you. That's how difficult it is. Now, the last method that I use to gain a lot of strand meditations is heading down here to the limiting harbor. If you have the fast travel available, use it. If not, spawn in over here at Nimbus and drive all the way down until you hit the limiting harbor. Now, three things to keep in mind at the limiting harbor. Number one, you wanna have a patrol active. Anything you're doing on this planet, you want to have a patrol active. Every time you complete a patrol, that is eight strand meditations. And number two, if you see a public event, by completing that public event, that's another 10 strand meditations. Plus, if you head over here to the center area where I'm at, at the main point of the limited harbor, this is where a public event spawns. And yes, rally the flag and get ready because this is not only the easiest public event to do, but it's the easiest public event to make into heroic, which rewards you with more strand meditations. Now to make this public event heroic, all you have to do is keep the Vex away from sacrificing themselves. If you can still have 10 of 10 without any sacrifices, the public event will become heroic. Now I did mention there was three things that you need to be doing. If there are any high value targets, defeat them. These will reward you with a lot of strand meditations. Now here is the rinse and repeat method. While completing any public event on Neo Muna, you're probably going to be completing your patrols as well. When you complete them, pick up another one right away and start completing it once again. When you pull up your ghost, you'll see where the patrols are. I want you to pick up only two types of patrols. The one with the little triangle and the one that looks like an X with the center circle. These are the easiest patrols to complete. They only require you to kill enemies. Not only that, they don't require you to leave the area, meaning you can do these while completing a public event. Also, you can do these while defeating a high value target, thus essentially triple dipping into these strand meditations. Just to give you an idea of how many strand meditations I got, in a time span of about 10 minutes, I was able to get 100 strand meditations. Is this the fastest method? For me, it is. As a solo player, I don't always have a team on, and farming harder difficulty missions not going to happen with me. I'm a solo player. So this is the fastest method for any solo player. Now, is this only for solo players? Of course not. The more the merrier. If you have more players on your fire team, this is great. While you're doing the public event, you can have someone else doing patrols. Once that public event is about to finish, call them back, they'll finish it together and rinse and repeat. You can triple dip into this, guys. Now, you want to do this as much as possible, even after you unlocked all your fragments, aspects and grenades. If you're someone who has multiple characters, you have to do the same on those characters. So you need more strand meditations. Some of your fragments are locked for certain dates. You have a few that are locked until March 7th and you have others that are locked until the end of the day one raid. And there you go the fastest method I found for gaining strand meditations. I wanted to get this video out as quickly as possible because I have a lot of builds coming to the channel. So if you're new, click that subscribe button. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and click that like button and share it with your friends. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'll see you in tomorrow's video.